Hi, welcome. Today I want to show you just a quick little tip that might save you or maybe your chicken helper some time when it comes time to feeding. You know, there's some days that you just don't want to change your shoes out, change all your clothes out, and get into the coop with the chickens to feed and water them. So one thing I want to show you real quick today is a feeder that you can set up very easily to do. Uh, it's a quick, easy feeder, and it's going to allow you to feed the chicks from either outside the coop itself or outside where the chicks are. Again, so you don't have to get in there with them all the time. Okay, so here we got just a couple different uh, pipe parts. Now, I'm a fairly short guy and all my chicken helpers are young, so the actual height of the chicken feeder is going to be pretty small. We've got uh, four little elbow pieces. This is going to be our main uh, bottom portion. And then, of course, we've got our straight pipe. This is about, uh, let's say, 24 inches, I believe, about two feet long. And then we're going to have a cap that we're going to put on the top of the feed uh, to keep things, anything from getting inside of it. And then, of course, we've got a standard uh, primer glue uh, for the piping. Now, these are some fairly thick elbow pieces you can see here. You can get some thinner uh, pieces of piping, of this PVC piping, for about half the cost if you're very budget conscious. But these should last pretty much forever. Uh, this feeder is going to far outweigh the life of any chicken that you might have. Okay, so we're going to start assembling our pipe structure here. Again, we've got our glue. I'm trying not to get a ton of this on me or on the table here. And again, you're not going to need a ton of glue uh, for this to stay together. First part is in. Next, I'm going to go with the, um, the elbow portions here. Get some glue. Again, this glue, if you're not familiar with this PVC glue, it's very, very potent. So I would suggest using it outside only if you can. Um, also make sure we're, we're sitting here outdoors, make sure that if you're in a garage or whatnot, you've got some great ventilation because this glue will have you feeling fine in no time. So that's going to be the bottom of our feeder. That's it right there. The chicken's got some large holes. You can have multiple chickens eating inside this feeder as well. You're going to pour it right over the top here. Now, one thing that I have in my coop, again, we want this so you can be outside of the chicken coop and still be able to feed it. So that's what these extra pieces here are going to come into play. Let me uh, put this together real quick. We want to be able to feed the chickens from outside the coop. You could even, if you've got a small coop, this could be actually outside you know, your entire coop. You've got a larger coop. You might have a wall uh, that separates it. And so you're going to um, put this outside the first wall. Let me get this here glued at the top. That's going to fit on there. And then this next piece is going to fit inside. We've already glued that. You're going to put this one facing up. Okay, and now, so this pipe, this portion is going to fit through your wall, which I'll show you later in the coop. We've already got our glue on there. That's it. So if you have the wall of your chicken coop here, now you can be outside of the chicken coop. You're going to pour the feed through the top here. And then I went ahead and picked up a cap. This is a, a four inch cap. And that cap, we don't want to glue it because you want to be able to take that off every time you're getting ready to feed. Once you put the feed in, you're going to put it right in there. Okay, that's your quick and easy feeder. I'm going to show it to you in the coop in a little bit. Okay, so you can kind of see here, we've got the feeder in between the wall, the outside wall here, and the rest of the coop. So when I want to, I'm basically just going to be able to come up here, take the cap off of the feeder, and put the food right in here. Now, one thing that I will say about this particular design, A, you want to make sure that it is as upright as possible uh, in the coop itself. And so this is going to vary uh, from coop to coop on how high you need to set that. So you want to make sure that this is as upright as possible. Now this particular design, actually it would be better if it was a little bit even more straight uh, down with less of a, of a bend here. On this particular one, you've got some feed that will actually hold up 
in this uh, straight portion. So you kind of just got to give it a little jiggle and make sure that it all gets down into the pipe. Let me show you a quick little view of what this looks like on the other side of the coop now. And so now here you can see the, what it looks like from the other side of the coop. So the big portion of the, uh, where you're putting the feed in is outside the actual wall of the chicken coop with the rest of it down below. Looking down at the actual feeder here, you can see another thing that you might want to adjust depending on how old uh, your chicks are. You can see that this portion here is pretty deep. So we could actually cut the pipe off here and make it a little less uh, deep so the chickens can get into it a little bit easier. Again, on this one, you're gonna have to give it a little bit of a shake to get the feed down in there. And then the chickens will, again, get into the pipe and uh, get their feed out. 